Want to know how to make our bland office coffee even better? With me in studio is Michael Phillips. He's the director of training for the Specialty Coffee Roaster Blue Bottle. Michael, aside from starting off with high-end coffee, what would you say is the biggest mistake that we're making in the office? Office coffee can be a real challenge because mm -hmm. a lot of times you're a victim of circumstance. You know, what did they bring in? What sort of equipment? Um, but pretty much all across the board, if you're going to go into offices and say this is really wrong, uh, it's how well the equipment's maintained and how clean the coffee pot is. Okay, now how important is that? It's pretty crucial. I mean, imagine trying to make a fantastic gourmet meal with a bunch of dirty pots and right, pans. Right, right. Uh, same thing happens with coffee. People keep brewing into it day after day. Um, and at best, they're cleaning it maybe once at night by rinsing it with water, and that's that's not going to cut it if you want to get a really nice okay, cup. Okay, so it's not like the longer it's on there, the, the more enriched the taste is. No. Yeah, there's certain cool. things you can season. Uh, your coffee your pot shouldn't be one. one of them. So now, yeah. what would you say is the best way to actually clean our carafe? Um, I mean, you can get super fancy and go out and get special coffee detergents mm -hmm. and whatnot to clean it out. Uh, but in general, if you just use hot water, some soap, and a little bit of elbow grease, Make sure you're scrubbing it out and then rinsing it really well mm -hmm. so the soap taste doesn't linger on right. for the next day. Uh, that's enough. It just takes, like every good thing, care and attention. Care and attention. Well, yeah. love it. Thank you so much for all of those tips. Now, we have more easy tips on how to make your office cup of joe even better right here on Hashtag Own Show. We all know that setting goals is imperative to success. So I want to know what your approach is to keeping those resolutions. Erin, let's start with you. If you don't have a lot of time to shop for a gift for that special person in your life, we can help. Today, gift guru Sandra Magsalmon will show us a few creative gifts when time is of the essence. 